Hello, Cursive. So today we're going to do just a quick hit on multiplying um, fractions and a whole number. Uh, it's pretty easy. That's a fraction. That's a whole number. We're going to be multiplying those two numbers together. Uh, we'll do it two ways. One with the fraction first, one with the whole number first. And the steps don't change really. And you'll see it's pretty easy. Um, whoa, <laughs> get out of here. Okay, so let's do a whole number, three times a fraction, two-thirds. So what I showed the students was that we need to have two fractions here. So this three actually has to be changed into a fraction. And that can be done a couple of different ways. The easiest way, right, three equals three over one. Because that three uh, divided by one, which is what this fraction line means is divide, three divided by one is three. So our fraction for three can be three over one. So let's go this way. So three over one times two thirds, right? Now we just multiply straight across three times two and one times three. Three times two is six. One times three is three. Everything is jumbled up. Let's pull this bad boy out and solve down here. Okay, so the problem is that we have an improper fraction, right? So some students want to try to reduce this. Well, we do that last after everything is done. You should be able to identify from here that this is an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator, which is not allowed. That's why it's improper. So just like I said last time, this is a division line. Six divided by three equals two. So this fraction converts to two. Simple, right? So that was with a whole number first, fraction second. Let's do the reverse and see if we um, can figure that out. So let's do three-fourths times six. Okay, so now we have... Uh, a fraction first, and we're multiplying by a whole number. Uh, I kind of wrote it already setting it up, you know, because I said earlier that we have to put this 6 over 1 to make it into a fraction, and uh, that's fine. That's a, it's an improper fraction, but for purposes of multiplying, we need to have it that way. All right, now we can multiply straight across 3 times 6 <clears throat> and 4 times 1, 18 over 4. Okay, so now we have an improper fraction, again, right? 3 times 6 is 18, 4 times 1 is 4, so 18 fourths is improper. We need to convert that. Now, 18 divided by 4 doesn't give us uh, a, a number with no remainders. We need to probably end up with a mixed number, right? So let's figure that out. So here's what we should do. We're going to divide 4. We're going to divide 18 by 4. So we know that 4 can't go into 1, that's 0, but 4 can go into 18, right? And that's 4 times. 4 times 4 is 16. We subtract 18 minus 16 is 2. So now just like some of the prior lessons we did with converting an improper fraction to a mixed number, we have everything we need here. Uh, notice our denominator was 4 here. So our answer, when we convert this problem into a fraction, our denominator is going to stay the same. It's still going to be 4. Our whole number is whatever we have up top. Our quotient is our whole number. So that is 4. And then our remainder, that is our numerator, 4 and 2 fourths. Now, don't forget, 2 fourths, we got to do our U-turns. 1 times 2. That's all we have for, for 2. And for 4, we have 1 times 4 and 2 times 2. So we look for the greatest common factor, which in this case is 2. That means that both of these, numerator and denominator, can be divided by 2. Oops. Divided by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So putting it all together to get our answer is going to be 4 and 1 half. 4 and 1 half. 
Pretty simple, right? Oops. So now you can see that multiplying fractions is really easy. Um, let's try another one. If we did a real quick one, like three times one third. We do the same thing. We put the three over one. Then we multiply straight across. Three times one is three. One times three is three. Three over three is equal to one. Pretty simple. If you have any questions, see me tomorrow. Uh, we'll be taking a quiz on Friday. Have a good night.